Welcome to all of you from the Fiddler in the Kitchen. I am Yeşim. In this channel, I will be sharing my cooking, high-end home and garden decor, tablescaping, my violin playing, and days in the life vlogs. I love my cozy home that smells beautiful food and pastries all the time. Sharing these with you is my favorite hobby. Garden and outdoor living şovuna geldik. Ee, hep bu bromeliyalılara bak bakıyordum. Değişik renklerini bulamamıştım. Evde iki tane var bahçede. Değişik üç tane aldım. Bu da Elkhorn. Ee, benim yaptığım bitki gibi Spagnomonosla böyle tahtaya yapılmış. Indoor plantslerime birazcık daha yeni bitki alıyoruz. Şimdi dolaşıyoruz. I don't like that color mother in laws song. I might just get that. aldığımız bitkileri arabaya götürmek zorunda kaldık. <gülüyor> Yoksa kalan kısmını gezmemiz mümkün değil. Şovun. Şimdi e, tekrar kaldığımız yere geri dönüyoruz. Wow, look at this big giant bonsai tree. So that's my hand. <gülüyor> Şimdi 
Japanese Garden e, design olan bir bölümüne geldik festivalin. Çok güzel bonsai ağaçları vardı. Çok güzel olmasına rağmen bu bonsai ağaçlar satan kişi dedi ki başlamadıysanız hiç başlamayın dedi. Bütün boş zamanlarınız alıyor, tatilleriniz alıyor. İnanırım yani sonuçta ben e, ev bitkileriyle, bahçe bitkileriyle ilgileniyorum falan. Bonsai tamamıyla farklı bir dünya yani onun e, eğitimi o küçük potlarda çok farklı. Ben geçen gün yaptığım gibi e, fakirlerin e, e, Japanese e, bonsai şekli olan kokodama fakirlerin bonsai ile ben e, kalayım böyle daha iyi. <gülüyor> so we are hungry now and we are getting some Japanese food, some satay chicken sticks, salt and pepper squid and chips to share. <gülüyor> I'm a Japanese style. I don't think I've tried Japanese before. Crispy. <clears throat> Very different from Indian sort of satay. This one is a satay chicken, peanut, peanut sauce, fustic sauce. We got a coffee bean plant. Bakalım büyütebilecek miyim? Evde kahveyi yapabilecek yapabilecek şekilde siz zevk olsun diye. This is my alfresco pot tropical garden. In the past, I always loved gardening, but for some reason, for me, gardening was always outside um, front yard or um, backyard. I was never into indoor plants or tropical plants that like a warmer, environment like indoors or closed areas like this so in january 2022 i brought two plants that was outside next to the pool in pots one was golden cane palm which didn't like where it was because it was all yellow it was very hot windy it had all the uh, extreme conditions under the sun so i decided to bring that one inside into this alfresco area and then i thought okay one is not enough i will bring the other one which was a uh, strelitza which is um, a bird of paradise so I put two big pots in there. Then I think that triggered my love of indoor gardening. So tropical plants, plants that would only um, survive indoors or, um, you know, like sheltered 
um, sun. So I started buying more and more plants until this is what happened. So as you can see, I've got a jungle, tropical jungle. Um, obviously these are all on the concrete. There is no ground, no soil. Um, I just created this look with only potted plants. So I think it is very addictive. So I love um, sitting out here. So I call it my little Balinese garden. So I put um, all these tropical plants, uh, Balinese figures, um, garden statues. So these are Balinese prince and princess. I love Buddha, anything to do with Buddha, statues, pots. So that just brings calm and um, tranquil feeling. It's just, I, I love so much. And it also reminds me my time in Bali because everything was so lush, so green. Um, in the resorts we stayed, I could always um, feel that nice, comfortable, lovely feeling. Um, you know the pool the plants the lushness so uh, it's been a while and now we've got two dogs i feel i really don't want to go anywhere leaving them with uh, someone so my overseas trips will be a while uh, so because of that I just made a little Bali in my backyard. So I hope you liked what I did in here.